you see on that sticker. So it's a customer 2014 Hyundai Santa Fe. And it came in, you have a PCM on the seat over there, just in case they said. And uh, the complaint is this vehicle has some sort of a can communication, that's what I just noticed. Um, they say if you are driving like for a half an hour, you will see all these gauges will go down, no speed or uh, all light. Uh, and uh, I already noticed something here, so I immediately hook up my uh, OTC can analyzer here, can box tester, and uh, I hook up my visor here. As you can see, the communication is there, but it's breaking up. And it's very, very bad. Look at that. That's very, very bad. It's not stable. It will come on and, and go and then, you know, fungi. Look at that. That's a very good indication of a, a shorted module possibly or something. Something is causing this can to go bad like that. So now we're going to have to pinpoint. So I did run my little dig here. And uh, I was checking for fault code as you can see <laughs> the engine control module doesn't exist abs doesn't exist this is the only module that we can talk to now we can talk to the uh, um tailgate hold on ac tailgate auto lamp smart key assist door all kind of stuff no much no abs no transmission you know no pcm so let's diagnose this together, shall we? The can really look bad, as you can see. Well, I think it's time to start looking and do some visual inspection and see what's going on. All right, so we're gonna, oh, excuse me. There's so many stuff in the road, in the way here. Something I notice is the uh, battery terminal here, it's broken off, but that we can fix, not a big deal. <sighs> Where to start, you know? Of course, PCM is living here, but uh, apparently the other technician had a look at it because it came from another shop. They say they check all they can check. Everything seems to be good. But, however, the problem is still there, and, uh, well, we have to figure out and find out what's going on. All right, so where's, where are all these modules that share the can communication? Of course, module number one, we have the ABS module living down there. So let's disconnect this. ABS module and see if our can is gonna be restored and if we can talk to the uh, engine computer. Okay, module is connected. Let's go inside and see if we can see anything changing. Well, that didn't change anything. Can still screw up. Okay, and uh, now let's quickly do some uh, not refresh. Go back here, are you sure? Yes. And then we can do health report again with the ABS module disconnected. Oops, you see. ECM scanning, not equipped. Transmission, not equipped. ABS, of course, we disconnected it. So, it's gonna be a tough cookie. But I'm confident we will do it. We will nail it. Let's see. What else? Now, for this point, 
I'd like to go to the uh, wiring diagram. I haven't yet done anything really. I just pull off the camera and start filming. <laughs> and uh, let me put this ABS connector back on. ABS is back on. Where is the transmission control module? I don't even know where, it's, where it lives. Um, when we have a problem in a in a high speed can, that's a little bit of a challenge because you know we have to figure out. Where are the module that shared? Where do they live? Okay. All right. So. Um. What is pulling this down? Okay, we connect the ABS. Nothing. No. We still can't talk to the... Uh... Oh, we, we did actually talk to the uh, transmission. But engine still not equipped. SRS Mojo is not equipped. And in the power steering, we only have... Holy, look at that. That's crazy. Okay, let's find the uh, um, let's find the the uh, wiring diagram for the can communication, and then it will be right back. Okay, gentlemen, back to the wiring diagram here that I print out. So what we have here, um, we have the ABS, the uh, four wheel drive, the tire pressure monitor system. <clears throat> so. Off camera, what I did, I disconnect the, uh, as you know, on the camera, I disconnect the uh, ABS, that didn't fix it. I disconnect the passenger occupancy, that didn't fix it. Um, SRS, that didn't fix it. The VC unit there, that didn't, didn't fix it. So I went ahead and disconnect the tire pressure monitor, didn't fix it. And when it comes to the uh, blind spot, there's a two blind spot connect to the can wire. Let me show you what I saw, what I found here. In the back here, sorry, try to get the light here okay in the back of the vehicle here there is something going on here I see a bunch of repair that have been done here I don't know how good they are somebody's been in here uh, fix these wires okay um, as you know this is our um, C can communication. This twisted pair is our high um, high speed can. Okay, so now 
when I disconnect this connector here, this filthy connector, this one automatically disconnect the uh, the blind spot module because you have both of them on this bumper behind this bumper because they told me I have to remove the bumper to access them. Then I came here across and then I look and then I disconnect the connector and everything works now. Now I can talk to every module except these two blind spot uh, modules. So, in addition to this, what I found is there's actually a broken wire somewhere here. Excuse me, I'm trying to squeeze myself in here. Okay, we have this connector here. As you can see, we have a broken wire. Oops. Anyway, with a broken wire on that connector, okay, and then there's also another green broken wire. Actually, there's a white, and then there's another another one there. Eh? That's broken. So we have like two broken wire there. So that's a problem. I need to be fixed. And uh, this blind module, um, their state of health is critical. I don't know if they are good and possibly they need to be replaced. So yeah, now we are back. On running, the vehicle is running, is a, uh, I mean, the, uh, the communication is back to normal. And uh, now I'm gonna take it for a test drive. So I, con I, I did connect this back on and it's still good, but I'm gonna see how it's gonna fail and then I can, I can disconnect that. Okay. Anyways, so you know, they live like just behind this bumper, this side, left side, okay? <clears throat> now the communication is back to normal. I don't see any weird looking uh, signals. So I'm going to put everything back together because I removed a so whole bunch of stuff. And then I'm going to take this for test drive and see how it goes. But I'm happy I got now my communication to every module. See you again in a bit.